Hey everybody, welcome back. I have another Alice Adventures in Wonderland book. I'm obsessed with Alice and I try to find all of the ones um, that I don't have. And this is the latest one I've seen several times. Um, and I just had to have it. The cover is real thick. It is nice. It's got that soft feel to it. You've got a pull out here. You can um, color in all the characters. Uh, it's got a lot of foiling on the cover. Same with the back. Nice. It's got another. Uh, it's got another pull out for you. You can color in. And here we go. We got the stories behind it. Um, let's see. This is the first time I'm looking at it myself. I literally just got it off the porch. So we're gonna look at this together. It says featuring classic illustrations by Sir John Tennille. Let's go. I really love the original Alice. She is like one of my favorites. So, and I, I love pages that are all already black like that. It just really makes your pictures pop. These are double sided, non perforated pages. But the paper is stick quality. It's not copy paper, but it is nice. Um, you still can't use your um, markers because it will bleed through to the next pages. It's real big. It's big. It's longer than a normal coloring book, I would definitely say. And I just think the pictures are really big, very clean, easy to color. This can be a beginner or like these intricate little flowers, you know, more advanced person. But very doable. Lovely, lovely pictures. I love how they have all the hanging pictures and stuff. I'm having a little issue with the spine. Let me break the spine a little bit. Yeah, it'll sit down. And, you know, just literally, I just got it. So here she is, where she's growing big. I like that one. I think this is like one of my favorites. I'm really liking it. I can't. I say that every time I get a new Alice book, though. <laughs> I really do. I need to. I need to stop buying these. I'm, I'm sure you could do color wash and stuff on these pages. There's that cat there. Oh, that's cool. It is raining outside. I mean, it is storming and it's the middle of the day. It's dark. I had to bring in extra lights. Look at the king. The Duchess. I love these original pictures. This is great. The dodo bird. I know I sound funny. I've been fighting pneumonia for over a week now, but I'm, I am getting better. I love this. The Mad Hatter is awesome. See some of the pages with um, looks. I call this kind of page like a wallpaper, repetitive. Um, you could use your alcohol markers on this because this is just the repetitive page. I would probably never color. So put you some protection under this side, and you could use your markers on pages like this. That is no problem. In fact, I'm probably going to do that. Oh, with her head. This is, I love this page. This 
This is one of those types of books where you just know that you're going to color every page in this book. This is beautiful. Something like this, I would just, I'd color page, put it down, come back, color it again, but I will color this whole book. I just love it. Except for maybe the wallpaper pages. <laughs> I love them so much, I don't know which one to color first, y'all. This paper is so nice. Pages are nice and smooth. They'll take color well. Oh, I love this. And then this is just your... Um, publishing information and this is talking about Lewis Carroll Lewis Carroll and John Tamino so how they came together and collaborated on on all of this this is, this is a really nice um, rendition of it I really enjoyed this all right, thanks so much for watching. Um, here's the spine. A lot of people want to know what the spine looks like. So there you go. Um, real thick. Nice. Really good quality book, too. Um, I'll post the link down at the bottom where you can purchase this. And if you have any questions or comments, just let me know. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that button. And um, a thumbs up would be much appreciated. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.